Hello, welcome back. Today we want to talk about another very very common、uh, looping、uh, in command of the Python. Okay, so what are this? <laughs> okay, let me clear off my previous、uh, drawing.、Uh, it's while loop. Okay, it's while loop. Okay. Uh, so while loop,、uh, normally we will check a condition boolean. We are doing the block. Okay.、Uh, when the truth happen, we'll do this part, and then we keep looping. Okay. And don't forget put the colon here. Okay. Don't forget to indent. Right. Yeah. And the Python also allows us to do this. Okay, when the condition falls, you can kind of doing this. Okay, and of course you can omit this part. Okay, you can omit this part. They just have a simple version of the while loop. Okay, so let's try our code, right? Shall we? Okay, so. Uh, let's assume i equals zero.、Uh, that's a starting point. While i less than ten, okay, and print i. Just that simple. Oh, you may find that okay. You're looping.、Uh, never stop. <laughs> What happened? What happened? Okay, they must have something wrong. I press the control. Control C to break to take an interrupt. Okay, I forgot my code. Well, yeah, I didn't. I didn't update my I right because、uh, in our previous lecture, the for loop kind of do everything for us. But while loop, okay, we need to retype I from zero. Okay. Wow, I less than ten. Kind of print I right, and then I I hit the run. <laughs> Here I need to do something. I plus one. Okay, so that I update my I after that, and and eventually I make the condition turning from true to false. Right. Okay, here comes、uh, another way to update、uh, incremental by one.、Uh, you can type i equals i plus one, or you can write like this, a kind of shortcut way. I plus equal one. Okay, a little bit bar like borrow from the C、uh, programming language. Okay, here you go. Zero, one, two, three. Yes.、Uh, till ten. They will do the else part. Okay, in this case, we didn't write else part. So shall we? Shall we do it? Maybe we do it. Do it. Twelve.、Uh, no, thirteen. Print. Ah,、uh, I equals things like this a little bit better. I plus no one else else part okay else part finally I reach. Hmm. Reach, reach, reach. Which number? Reach. I. Okay. I think I'm done it. I've done it. Oh, in this case, I <laughs> I made an interesting mistake because uh, uh, I didn't reset my I started from zero. But it's fine. It's a good mistake. Okay. What does that mean? From our previous program,、uh, this part、uh, I when I is 
ten, the loop quit, right? So here, continue. While I less than thirteen, they will do this. So print out I is a ten, eleven, twelve. When you become the thirteen, okay, this condition become false. They will do this part. Okay. Finally, I reaches thirteen. Here you go. So this is uh, the while loop. Okay. Of course, you can do any kind of logic. Uh, maybe you I in the beginning thirty. You kind of I minus one, kind of thirty twenty nine twenty eight because you decrease I. This statement means i minus one. Okay, and you can you can have a step. Okay, maybe each time you you decrease by two. Okay, kind of not a continuous uh, de incremental by one or decremental by one. You want to have a step. Okay, it all depends on your logic. Okay. Uh, so this is a while loop. You need to have an initial condition, a boolean check, and the block you want to do. And inside, you need to change that um, that uh, condition by updating it. Okay. Otherwise, you will generate a terrible uh, result. You will generate uh, infinite. Okay. That's a forever looping. Uh, you are not going to escape it. Okay, that's a serious mistake. You don't want that happen. Okay, so that's it. Okay, I hope you know that Python have a some part uh, quite similar to the JavaScript, and the some part they uh, in their for loop they seems to have uh, even more advanced. Uh, uh, Structure they can just simply use in okay, so that's about a while loop. Okay, see you next time. Bye bye.